I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier, but I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Hophonius. You? Well, I guess as the honorary knight, you may very well be a good fit for the task. Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the knights. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. You could start by looking for her there. <sighs> How strange. I can't seem to find any. Oh, oh, it's you! What are you doing here? Is something the matter? Oh, I see. No need to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolf hook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of wolf hooks here. And I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara? Huh? She's not here either. Huh? Oh, somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because. Oh, all right. I'll just leave it to you then. Please just... Just don't tell them that I'm here, all right? The voice seemed to be coming from over there. Let's go take a closer look. Remembers him? Is it that Albert? Barbara Sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who? Me? Uh, uh well, I'm looking for Barbara Sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara Sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredients she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. Can't be serious. It's only the biggest club for Barbasama fans in all Mondstadt. <laughs> Even Huffman's a member now. Of course, Barbasama has a lot of fans in Mondstadt that wish to support her. You know. I. Uh, anyways, the Barbara fan club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbasama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. Huh? Wait a second. What do you mean, anymore? Did you see her here earlier? So Barbara Sama is somewhere close by. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. I 
heard it from Sister Victoria herself. She told me that she overheard another sister saying that Barbasama had come to Wolfendom to pick wolfhook berries. In fact, I could have sworn I heard Barbasama's voice when I came here. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbasama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. Well, of course you didn't hear anything. You were focused on defeating monsters the whole time. Well, whatever. I don't have time to keep talking like this. I should keep searching for Barbasama, and you should go back to whatever it is you were doing. Barbasama! What are you? What is he doing here? He's bound to find Barbara here sooner or later if this keeps up. Unless... We could start yelling, too. That way, Barbara will hear us coming, and we'll still have a chance to escape. Hey, what are you so embarrassed about? Oh, just follow Paimon's lead. Barbara! Oh, Barbara! It's us! Barbara! Where are you, Barbara? You're yelling even louder than me. <laughs> That's just because we like Barbara too, right? Oh, I see. In that case, let's do our best together. Barbara! It's us! Are you there? Barbara Sama, where are you? Barbasama isn't here after all. <coughs> no, it's not that. I just. <coughs> oh. <coughs> uh, all right. My throat won't hold up much longer. <laughs> it's no wonder you've become the honorary knight. You certainly give it your all. It seems Barbasama isn't anywhere around here. Let's return to the city. <coughs> Once Barbasama returns to Mondstadt, though, I'll have to ask her to heal my throat. <coughs> Please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because... All right, then. Let's head this way. Shh. Keep your voice down. We mustn't let that person find us here. Oh, this should be a good spot. Let's wait here for a while. Well... It's a little embarrassing to say, but... In Mondstadt... I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now, people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or when I go out for personal matters. I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to 
have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything? Just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. Oh yes, there are plenty of the normal variety. But I'm looking for red wolf hooks. No matter how hard I look, I can't seem to find any. I clearly remember that they always grow here. I guess that's all we can do for now. Although it certainly isn't nice to treat someone that way. But today, I simply wish to keep to myself. What do you mean? Y you... Uh, I'm sorry. I think we should go. Yes, it's time to go. Shh. Keep your voice down. I mean, oh, this should be a good... Well... In Mondstadt, I'm happy to see such... Tr I know that I'll... And I always... But... Even when I'm in the reason I- Do you understand? It's been f- Oh, yeah? I guess that's all we can- My family? Well, my father left on an expedition together with Grandmaster Varka and has yet to return. And as for the other person I can call family, well, she doesn't have much time to look after me. And besides, I'm more than capable of taking care of myself, so there's no need for me to bother her. <laughs> That's right! The Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. I'm sure you've heard his name mentioned before. <laughs> Simon Page. Cardinal of Daybreak and the Seneschal of the Church of Favonius. That's my father. But it's been some time since I last saw him. And I'm still uncertain of when Grandmaster Varka's expedition will finally be finished. I don't know. My father only briefly mentioned the matter to me before he set off. He also turned over all his responsibilities in the church to Cardinal Calvin. Cardinal Calvin has been taking care of various matters since the departure of my father and Grandmaster Varka. He's so busy that he seldom ever leaves his room. Even the other sisters in the church rarely ever see him. The only time I've seen him recently was when the Holy Larger Hamel was stolen. He went to the Knights of Favonius in such a hurry that he hadn't even fastened all the buttons on his garments. Speaking of which, you still remember that day, right? You recovered the Holy Larger Hamel together with that bard and Jean. Oh, I mean, the acting Grand Master. Oh, I was shocked to see the Holy Liar Durhamel in such a condition. Thank the heavens that the Bard was able to mend it. We'd never hear the end of it from Cardinal Calvin if something were to ever happen to the Holy Liar Durhamel. Huh? What do you two seem so nervous about? There's nothing wrong with the Holy Liar Durhamel. Is there? Huh? But... Didn't you return the liar together with acting Grandmaster Jean and that bard? And then... That bard used some sort of magic to fix the broken holy liar Durhamel. Hey! Why do you look so nervous? Is there something wrong with the holy liar Durhamel? I see... Never mind. We'll talk about it later. That person who was looking for me should be long gone by now, and I still need to go pick those wolf hooks. Oh, really? Well, your help would be much appreciated. Let's search the nearby area. I'm sure we'll find some in no time. Remember, we're looking for red wolf hooks. Don't get them mixed up. Strange. 
I'm almost certain that I've seen lots of those red wolf hooks growing here before. <sighs> Glad we finally made it out of there. The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um... Would it be possible to, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> oh, you're back again. If you're looking for sister... Oh, I see. <sighs> but it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to some- Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, you could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, honorary knight. Sister Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Thank you so much! I just returned a short while ago. I can't thank you enough for how much you've helped me today, both here in the cathedral and back in Wolfendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Whoa! I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Word is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Yeah, it does sound amazing. I'm not sure how Margaret came up with such a name. But I have heard that the drink is quite popular now. There's even a line of people waiting to purchase it every day. If you'd like to get one, we should head over to the cat's tail as quickly as we can. However, even though I've already requested a half day of leave from Sister Victoria, she still insists that I let her know where I'm going. With so many people trying to get in on the newest Cat's Tail offering, I'm worried we'll have to wait for ages if we get there too late. Oh, I've got it! Why don't you help me check in with Sister Victoria while I get in line at the Cat's Tail? That would save us some time. What do you think? It's settled then. Let's meet up at the entrance to the Cat's Tail. It... Uh, it'll be fine. I'll just tell them that today is my day off. I'm sure they'll understand. Let's get going then. See you at the cat's tail.
Yes, my child? Oh, yes. Sister Barbara just submitted her request for half a day's leave. She said she had plans with a friend. I must say, though, it is quite unusual for Barbara to request time off just to see a friend. But that's beside the point. What is it you'd like to ask me? Oh? You mean to tell me that Barbara intends to accompany you to buy this... special drink? Then you must be the friend that she mentioned, I presume. Hmm, seeing as you're the honorary knight, I guess that's fine. Well then, please take good care of Sister Barbara. Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara is quite popular in Mondstadt for several reasons. Although the citizens here may only be acting out of good intention, there are too many of them, and Sister Barbara can't handle it all. If they appear while she is working here at the church, we can come and intervene. But if she's approached by fans during her time off, then she can only fend for herself. And not to mention, she's too... kind. She'll always try to fulfill the requests of the citizens of Mondstadt, even when it takes a heavy toll and leaves her more exhausted than actual working hours. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she'd be, just in case we need to come rescue her from the crowds. My hope is that Sister Barbara stops pushing herself so hard. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Sama, I never expected I would have a chance to meet you here today. Are you here attending to matters for the church? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, Barbara Sama, may I get your autograph? I, uh, my daughter Ellen is a big fan of yours. Uh, oh, is that so? <laughs> All right, uh, just one moment. Oh gosh, Barbara Sama, I love your style. Please tell me how I can be more like you. Oh, oh, really? Well, I I'm still learning and growing myself. I, I guess all I can say is, do your best every day. Oh, Barbara-sama! Uh, Barbara-sama! Barbara-sama! Oh, my! Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer in your room. Uh, Barbara Sama, can I get an autograph? Oh, Ellen would be so happy. She's your biggest fan. Ah! Wait! I, uh... No. Oh, is, is that right? <laughs> well then, uh, I'll leave her to it. <laughs> Ellen looks busy with her training. <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Oh, Barbara Sama, you're so hardworking. If I put in as much effort as you, who knows where my apprenticeship would take me? Must be the honorary knight. What are you and Barbasama doing here? Um. Oh. <laughs> of course, Barbasama is working after all. Forgive me. I I'll. I'll leave you in peace. Recommendation. Please, Barbasama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? Uh. Sure. Consider it to others. Huh? Aren't you that honorary knight? 
Y official business? Oh, I, I thought... <laughs> Apologies. I, I just got so excited when I saw Barbara-sama. Yes, you're right. Being considerate to others is the right place to start. <laughs> Barbara-sama and the honorary knight in the same place. This must be incredibly important official business. I'll take my leave. Where did everybody... The lowdown? You mean you persuaded them to leave for now? I understand everybody's enthusiasm, but the longer I stay here, the more people will gather. It's always been that way. I just don't know how to turn them away. In the end, the Knights of Pavonius always have to come and restore order. <sighs> If only I had your way with words. Here. It's the fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea you wanted. I ordered this one especially for you. I hardly ever get a day off. Why don't we take a stroll outside the city together and finish our drinks? It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. When I heard you'd received the title of Honorary Knight, I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn kid. But now that- This world is- to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day, so I can help everybody around me too. But for now, all I can do is sing. <sighs> so sorry, always thinking about myself. Uh, we've walked a long way. Why don't we take a break uh, Finding someone to chat to would be better than just standing around. here. Nobody's passing through except us. Let's rest for a while. for wanting to intervene. Usually, the Knights of Favonius end up arriving to restore order. Then someone from the church comes to escort me away. It's happened so many times already, I don't really notice it anymore. Of course. More than a little, to say the least. But exhaustion for the sake of not letting everybody down is okay. <sighs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had such a long conversation, and it's all me complaining. Oh, thanks for listening. The support of an honorary knight goes a long way. <sighs> so, we've still not finished our drinks. Let's finish them off while we're here. We can rest today, but it's back to the grindstone tomorrow. <laughs> I was when I I seem to remember the ingredient. I figured she besides, so I decided to come. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader. Huh? I'm. Uh, <sighs> <sighs> you 
might be right. I should go back and gather more people to help with the Serp, since Barbara-sama came here to... I heard it from Sister Victoria herself. She told me that she overheard another sister saying that Barbara-sama had come to Wolvendom to pick wolfhook berries. In fact, I could have sworn I heard Barbara-sama's voice when I came here. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbara-sama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. Uh, you might be right. I haven't heard any sign of her since. Unless she's intentionally trying to avoid me. But she'd never have any reason to do that. Right. Hmm. Well, it seems that Barbara-sama may have already left the area. <sighs> All right, then. Barbara-sama must be somewhere else. Oh, but I still feel a bit worried. I'll go report the matter to Huffman, and then have another look around the church. Here, you can have these red wolf hooks I picked earlier. There's no way I'd be able to carry them all back to the city. I'll take what I can to the church after I get back. <sighs> I just hope that Barbasama did indeed go back to the city. I'm not being very polite towards him. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now, People always stop me on the street when I go shopping, or when I go out for personal matters. I know that all they want is to get my autograph, or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but... Oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But... Sometimes... I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything just by yourself? It's, it's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. No, I couldn't find any. All the kind I'm looking for are red. I remember seeing them here before, but I've already searched the area and there aren't any. I wonder if someone had already picked them. No, people seldom come out here. Huh? Yes, those are the ones. And you found so many. These will be more than enough. But where did you... Oh, my. Well, I've been far too impolite. Albert came all this way just to help me, and I... But if I were to go and apologize to him, it would probably only make him feel even worse. Oh, I guess I'm still just too immature. Let's just head back to the city for now. I'll think of a way to make it up to Albert later. Well, I know. And you also know. And we mustn't forget that Barbados also knows. We certainly can't say that no one knows about this matter. Don't you think? And besides, as a deaconess, I could never simply ignore such a matter. I must take the appropriate actions and make things right. I'll see to that matter on my own. Anyway... The berries you have here will be just enough. We should get going. There. The 
Elvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while. But there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloom. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, well, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Sister Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. I just returned a short while ago. I can't thank you enough for how much you've helped me today, both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Oh! I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Where it is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Coming right up! But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. Alright, let me think. To make this drink, we'll need some fresh Juyun chilies and sweet flowers. The key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. I know where to gather fresh Juyun chilies. But sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, high quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Oh, why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, we can meet up just south of the Whispering Woods. <sighs> All right, I'll head to the Whispering Woods to gather sweet flowers while you go search for Julia and Chili's around Stone Gate. Oh, and. By the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. While I head over to the Whispering Woods, could you please check in with Sister Victoria and let her... Wouldn't gliding be faster? Yes, my child. Oh, I s I'm sure Sister Barbara has her... Uh, I trust she will be in good hands. Well, as you... Although the citizen... If they appear, well... But if she's a... And not... So with that... My... This seems like the right place, but Barbara isn't here. Let's wait here a while. She'll probably be back soon. <sighs> it's been ages. Where in Tevat did she go? She said she wanted to go to the Whispering Woods and pick sweet flowers. Let's head over there. How did you two... Oh, quickly, this way. Try not to make a sound. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ran into something unexpected. Oh, there's no heading back now. 
Long story short, I was picking sweet flowers and suddenly a group of treasure hoarders appeared. They'd seized a merchant of some kind and were pushing her around. It sounded like they were demanding money from her. I took cover right away, but I've been trailing them ever since. I guess they were too caught up with the merchant to notice me. I followed them this far, but it seemed like they knew somebody was following them, so I didn't go any further. Don't worry about me. They're only treasure hoarders, after all. Anyway, I've got a vision. It's enough to protect myself. As for the person they seized, they might be in danger. That's why I was secretly trailing them. I had the same idea, but reporting this to the knights would take too long. What if the treasure hoarders have done something terrible by then? I was trying to think of some way of rescuing the merchant when you showed up. So... Honorary Knight? Maybe you could, uh... Yay! I'll leave it to you, Honorary Knight. I'll handle the aftercare. <laughs> Who dares enter our territory? Release your hostage immediately! <laughs> so you want to play the hero? Porter! Seize the girl! Let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move. Oh no! They're going after Martha! We've got to... Don't worry about me! I'm a vision bearer after all. I'll handle these guys. You go rescue the merchant! She's got a vision! Boss, what should we do? Thank you. I, I can't express my gratitude. I'm a merchant, Falua. I, I was on my way to Mondstadt. I had no idea there were treasure hoarders on the road. They seized me and brought me here. If it weren't for you, gods know what would have happened to me. Oh, <laughs> please allow me to repay your kindness. The treasure hoarders already made off with most of my things, but let me see here. Um, so there are still a few bottles of chili brew, a few sweet flowers, and here's some aura. No, 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 we don't need a reward. Rescuing those in need is only natural. Besides, I'm the deaconess of the Church of Bavonius, and this is the Knights of Bavonius Honorary Knight. As a visitor from Leo, we have a duty to guard your safety. I won't hear of it. You rescued me. It's only right that your kindness is repaid. I'm afraid I have nothing of great value to offer, but please choose what you like. Um, okay. I just don't know what to choose. Leo at Chili Brew might be delicious. But, with those sweet flowers, I'd have enough ingredients to make my own. I know. You have way more adventuring experience than me. You'll be better at this. You choose. What do you think is the most fitting reward? Yes, adventurers are savvy when it comes to rewards. What'll it be? Leo's famous chili brew, sweet flowers, or mora? This? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you'll enjoy it. There are two of you, so you'll be needing a couple of bottles. Here you go. Taste yourselves. Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. Leo, I chili brew. I've never tried it. I wonder what the flavor's like. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> Ooh, ah, spicy. Throat's on fire. Mm, this isn't like the jelly brew I make at all. What do you think? Uh, I guess we don't have to finish them. It's getting late. And I doubt there's enough time to go looking for sweet flowers. When we get time, I'll make some for you. My version's a little easier on the tongue. Less... stimulating. Let's head back to Mondstadt. My break's nearly over. Thanks for your company today, Honorary Knight. Even though it was only half a day, 
I had a great time. Next time, you can try my special chili brew. Really? Sweet flowers and a chili brew? I guess it's all chili brew at the end of the day, but the Mondstadt version sure sounds interesting. Sweet flowers it is. These are an excellent batch. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. These sweet flowers look fantastic. And now we've finally got all the ingredients we need for the chili brew. Let's get back to Mondstadt. When we're inside the city, why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? When the chili brew is ready, I'll bring it straight over. Didn't keep you waiting, did I? Sure. Evil shall be dispersed. that likes chili brew well i like chili brew because uh, oh, actually it's a little embarrassing at first i drank chili brew just to keep me awake when i first began singing practice i had to get up early every day after practice i would go to work at the church to take care of official matters but because i was getting up so early my singing wasn't getting any better Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint. One adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> <laughs> that was until I started chewing Julian chilies. <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink, something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Oh, the things you faced, and those yet to come, are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh, have I said too much? Sorry, I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. It's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. Why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Oh. 
You really think so? Okay, then. With the honorary knight by my side, I can gather ingredients without a care in the world. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. We should go check in with Sister Victoria first. We could say... Hmm, we're going out to gather some herbs. I'd like to go- Oh? But didn't you just submit a request for half a day's leave to see a friend? Now you suddenly intend to go herb picking? Hmm. I thought you would take a rest today. Still, you may do as you please with your plans. I won't interfere. But the Whispering Woods are quite a distance away. Perhaps you should request a guard from the Knights of Avonius? With the honorary knight by my side, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Thank you for informing me. I've noted down your plans. Please do come back soon. Thank you. All right, we're good to go. Let's head out. <laughs> I guess that takes care of them. You truly are the honorary knight. Oh, stop right there. Looks like you hurt yourself on your arm there. No, no, no. Even a graze can turn into a wound of unimaginable evil if you let it. Wait just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. That should do it. Okay. Let's have a look for these sweet flowers. Hello there. Excuse me. But aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Uh, yes, I am. Are you all right? Oh, praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? I decided to do some private hunting today, so I just threw on any old thing. L look here! Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to myself? How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you, you adventurers are all alike, suspicious by nature. Sister Deaconess, you believe me, right? Heal me, I beg of you. Mm, yes, I will heal you. Oh, his wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? Oh, uh, okay. But I should heal him first. Wait a minute! You know, I'm suddenly feeling a lot better. Where was I? Uh, Sister Deaconess, uh, I should be going. I won't be needing your healing today. Thank you. But we're, we're done here, no? Is there a problem? I haven't done anything. What's your problem? You're not making any sense. I just asked to be healed. Is there some law against that? You think I'm afraid of you? If you want to catch me, you better be up to the task. Yahoo! Fine, you caught me. Like I said, I'm already leaving. Oh. Oh, thank you. I had a look at his wounds. I think he really did need healing. Even if he was a treasure hoarder. Still, I'm sure you made the right decision. If he did have some ulterior motive, we might have fallen into a trap. Whatever the case, 
If he does have others lurking about, we're probably still in danger. We should go back to Mondstadt. <sighs> it looks like Chili Brew isn't in the cards this time. I'll have to get around to making one for you next time. I'm heading back to Mondstadt. You should come as well. Don't spend too long out here. <laughs>